Hey, this is Professor Perez. In this video, we will show you how to reduce fractions. But before we get started, we gotta get out. Charlie, he better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? Yeah. All right, let's get started right there. Let's start with the fraction 4 6 Now, let's look at some number lines here. We see that 4 6 is equivalent to the fraction 2 thirds because they have the same location on the number line. But notice here, 4 and 6 have a common factor of 2, meaning they're even, so they both can be divided by 2, right? And so look at if we divide both top and bottom by 2, or we can show it this way with a little diagonal bar, notice what we get. We get 2 thirds. And it is true that 4 6 is equivalent to the fraction 2 thirds. We can see it visually on the number line. Well, this is how you arithmetically reduce a fraction. This is called reducing. Two thirds is said to be reduced to its lowest form because two and three have no other common factors other than one. Okay, let's look at the fraction nine six. Well, we can see nine six is equivalent to the fraction three halves. Well, how do we arithmetically reduce? Nine and six both have a common factor of three. So we can show that we're dividing top and bottom by three either using the division symbol or this little diagonal bar. 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 6 divided by 3 is 2, and we get 3 halves. And it is true, 9 6 is equivalent to 3 halves. This is how you reduce. You basically look for a common factor, a number that divides both evenly into the numerator and denominators. How about 18 twelfths? Well, looking at the number line, we see 18 twelfths is equivalent to 9 6, which is equivalent to 3 halves. So 18 and 12 have a common factor of 2. If we divide top and bottom by 2, notice we get 9 sixth. 9 sixths, right? But 9 sixths can still be reduced to 3 halves. That's because 9 and 6 have a common factor of 3. 3 divides evenly into both a 9 and a 6, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2, and now we get 3 halves. And 3 halves is reduced to lowest form because 3 and 2 have no common factors other than one. All right, now notice we divided by two and then we divided by three, top and bottom. But you might be thinking, hey, could we have done this all in one step? Yes, we could have. If we had noticed that 18 and 12 have a common factor of six, we could have divided both top and bottom by six and got the answer in one step. So sometimes that happens. Some people get the answer very quickly. Some people take a couple steps. Doesn't matter, we will all get the same answer. Okay, 4 twelfths. Well, 4 twelfths is equivalent to 2 eighths, which is equivalent to 1 third. Well, since 4 and 12 are even numbers, let's divide by 2, and we get 2 sixths. Now, 2 and 6 have a common factor of 2, so let's divide by 2 again, and we get 1 third. Okay, that makes sense. 4 twelfths is equivalent to 2 sixths, is equivalent to 1 third. But notice we divided by 2, and then again divided by 2. That means we could have saved one step by simply dividing by 4, because 2 times 2 is 4. So 4 and 12 have a common factor of 4. Let's divide top and bottom by 4, and notice we get 1 third for our answer. There it is in one step. So that's our introduction to reducing fractions. Be sure you keep up with your homework, and we'll see you again soon.